Hello, everybody. Welcome to Scotty's Side. Thank you for joining me today. Really appreciate it. You know, most of my videos, I don't bring up politics at all. I'm not really a politics channel. But uh, this one made me smile. It is our good, loyal friend and true, Anna Kasparian. I think that's how you say her name. Kas Kasparian? Kasparian? I don't know. You know who I'm talking about. You know who it is just by looking at her. So let's see what she has to say. In 2022, it was around March. I was walking my dog. It was not quite dark yet, but the sun was setting. As I'm wa walking my dog, um, I see these two guys that were, they were just kind of like moving around weirdly. You know, they seemed kind of manic mm -hmm. and their clothes were tattered. So I just, I knew that they were probably homeless. And I also knew that mm -hmm. they're probably on something just based on like the twitchy way they were acting. But living in LA, I mean, I've, LA. there's homeless people everywhere, right? So I've never had problems. I didn't think anything of it. See, Sorry to interrupt real quick. That's just how it is now. Grew up around it. That's the way it is. LA's a shithole, so I'm used to it being a gross, nasty pile of poop. Didn't think anything of it. That's sad. But as I was bending down to pick up my dog's uh -oh. mess, uh, one of the guys like grabs me by my hips and... <laughs> He had an erection oh, God. and uh, just starts like humping me. Oh. And I I didn't know what to do. Like I, I was terrified. I didn't have a weapon on me. Yep. Like I had no way of defending myself. I didn't know how Yeah, because you're in California. And you can't do that in California. You can't have a weapon and you can't defend yourself in the great golden state. Welcome to LA. Welcome to California. Welcome to Democrat run cities counties and states how far it was going to go because it's two guys i'm by myself with my little dog it was the what like one of the most terrifying things ever because i'm pretty good at defending myself in that moment i just knew there were there was no option no way yeah right. yeah and uh luck because even if you call the cops nothing's going to be done nothing's going to be done about this sort of thing so you just get to live with it in your liberal shithole luckily he stopped and Luckily. they just laughed at me and walked away as they were laughing at me. What if he didn't stop? What are you going to do then? Because there's tons and tons of women. The same kind of thing happened and the guys didn't stop. And then they get thrown right back out on the street where they're doing their drugs. Harassing other people, stealing things, literally shitting on the sidewalk. And so there was this the what you voted fear for. and then the humiliation and, and weirdly shame. Like I felt sh ashamed for some reason. And it was awful. And it was yeah. really taking a toll on my mental health because I have to walk my dog, right? So at least two or three times a day, I'm going outside kind of scared. And so I opened up about this on the show, not really thinking much of it. And before I knew it, I'm starting to get these messages and it's like, really, really harsh stuff. And it's about how you are painting a picture of the homeless community. You know, how could you be like this? You know, these are <laughs> your unhoused neighbors and they need help. Um, what, you know, a few people accused me of being racist when I had never disclosed the race of the individuals who did this to me. And in fact, they were white. And so like, when they started <laughs> accusing me of being racist, I'm like, wait a minute. Why are you assuming that the people who did this? Of course. Yeah, like, uh -huh. I think you might have a problem here. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. that woke me up. That woke me up because I'm like, oh, my God. They eat their own. Oh, I was just going to say that right there at the end. She said it. They eat their own. This is what liberals do, man. This is what they do. This is what you fucking retards do. Look at this. She's getting, literally, she's getting sexual harassed. That is sexual harassment. He's hard. He comes up, grabs her hips, and then starts, like, dry humping her. Come on. Come on. And then you accost her for it. That's, that's like your victim blaming and victim shaming. <laughs> God, like, what the fuck? This is, fuck L.A., fuck California. Fuck that place. God damn. And you know what? Good for you, Anna, for starting to wake up. You know? Maybe she has a decent head on her shoulders. You know? That's, that's good, and... Some of the clips I've seen of her, she's pretty harsh with these dims, with these libtards. 
And it's good. She should be. We need more people speaking about how, speaking up about how crap this situation is. And she's living it firsthand. She's got homeless people all over the fucking place where she lives. I couldn't stand that, dude. And she's probably paying a bunch of money, too. And she's surrounded by homeless people. That would suck. I would fucking hate that. And they probably would leave me more alone because I'm a guy. And because you're, you're a woman, this is going to happen to you. And you can't defend yourself. You can't have a weapon in California. Otherwise, you're going to be the one that's going to jail. <laughs> While these fuckers keep doing drugs and shitting on the sidewalks. Yeah, have fun with that. Well, I hope you keep waking up, Anna. Because uh, it's just going to keep getting worse with more and more Democrats running these things and just running these cities into the ground making them complete, utter shitholes. But this is what you idiots voted for. So you get what you get. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. I uh, really appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Oh, boy. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. See you in the next one. Bye.